Yo, what's up guys? I'm going to be making a full guide on e-stock and how to use it. I don't think there's any other videos on YouTube explaining it, and it's a little different to run than a normal bot. So I think it will help a lot of you guys out. Alright, so this is the e-stock dashboard. This has your checkouts, the clients. This is where your purchases will go. How much you have spent. I don't have any in it right now because I just reset the key. So it took all of them away. Alright, these are the sites it has. The only ones that work right now are Pokemon Center, Target, Fuego, um, Walmart, and Amazon. Some others might work, but those are the only ones I know do. I'm going to be going over. This is the capture solver. So when you're on Walmart and you need to solve them fast, I'll pop up here and sign to your Gmail, proxy, and YouTube to help get better captures. You can open as many as you want. Then you got the settings. So you have your Discord webhook and cat monster key, which is the same thing as API key. It'll just like outsource your captures. Proxies. I use Scarlet ISPs. They work really well for Amazon. Okay, so for the first set I'm going to be going over is Amazon. So you just go under profiles. You don't need a profile filled out for Amazon. You just need to have your information saved in your Amazon settings. So then you click on the Amazon button, Amazon sessions, and you press plus. You type in your Amazon login, I'll blur mine out. But you just type that in. Then you press a plus button and a browser will open. So it should, this isn't typing it by itself. And it'll just go through it. You might get like a two factor authentication you have to verify. But it just has to do it two times. Then it should be good to go. And then it'll automatically close itself. And you can just X out of it. And now I'm gonna make a task under Amazon. It will be under session. Oh, it's not under session. Oh, so you just need to tap the, you need to make it on the United States first. And then under session, it'll say the email of the login session you just made. So then to create a task, you need to get the ASIN, which is like the same thing as a SKU. But you just go to Amazon. I'll find something in stock that's cheap. I'll show like candy. So the ASIN will always be after the DP slash. So you copy that. Then you put it into the bot proxies. Right now, I think that um, just local monitoring, so you know, do no proxies and proxy lists works the best. But you want to switch them up between your tasks, like use some with proxies and then some proxies with some with proxies. For Amazon, I think the best delay you use is just one. One third party sellers, you can have it on if you want, you don't need it. Yeah, it's price check, use like a little bit above the normal cost of the product. Condition new. Then you start it and once it's in stock, it'll check it out. So for Walmart, it's pretty simple. You just gotta create, so you actually want, you will first wanna have a profile filled out so we can use that info to check out with. You're gonna add a Walmart account under the lock. This is my, I have a Walmart account already in there. So you create tasks, go to Walmart. Walmart US API links. You go. To, you just got a link. I'll just get like some cheap candy. I'll cancel it after. What's? I'll do these. Copy the link. Put it here. Profile Kyler. Proxies. I do. I would use proxies for Walmart. I'm quantity one delay. I use a thousand delay for Walmart. You can change it though. Account. Check out account, price check, I'll just do 15. Brute add to cart, so I think this means that it'll check out more aggressively. Use cat monster means it'll 
solve the capture for you, but it's slower. Add the task, and you want to open up your capture solver if you're not using Cap Monster. Start task, getting PX cookie. There's the captcha motorcycle. Then it should check out. Yep, there it goes. It's pretty easy. The webhook webhook should get sent. So for target, it's pretty much the same thing as Walmart, you just go to use target Fuego mode. I don't think SFL works. You put in the SKU, which you get from after the A dash, it's right there. So you just copy this, that part. Put that there, M quantity one, proxies, I use Scarlet ISPs, one, one, online, delay, uh, I use one, add task, and you start it. And it should check out once installed. All right, guys. Last time I'm gonna go over is Pokemon Center, your Pokemon Center, United States. I was like the SKU. This is what they look like. He said their variant will be like what style of it. So if you want like a pink one versus a blue one, whatever item it is, you put it there. Proxy all the Scarlet Lights piece. I'm quantity one delay one. I think one. I think a thousand actually works best. One price check, I'll do 66. Create the task, and then you just start it and you just start monitoring. Yeah, that's pretty much it for eStock. Those are all the sites. I think Home Depot works, but um, there's not a lot of good things that drop in there. You can run a ton of ass, you can run a ton of tasks. I recommend I run like four for each SKU. I don't know, GPUs and consoles. If you just run for those, you'll eventually hit one. All right, thanks for watching the video. If it helped you out, please leave a like below. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below.